Hello everyone, this is Daniel. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I want to talk about the TP-Link PCIe Wi-Fi N card. So this is right below AC and it gets uh, six, no, 300 megabyte, 300 megabits per second, might be 600 megabits. Basically, I get about four megabytes to three megabytes download speed. Um, it's a decent uh, Wi-Fi PCI Express card. It takes one slot. I'll have the model number in the title. Um, I just went to um, TP-Link's website to get the driver because I got this used on eBay with no driver CD. Um, it works just fine, but would I do it again? No, it's a little bit more expensive than the USB cards. I really just wanted to try putting PCIe Express card in the computer to see what would happen with the Wi-Fi card, but I think it's going the way of the sound card where you really can just use USB Wi-Fi cards, and they're actually better because they're more portable. One thing I don't like about this is if I wanted to put my computer on its back, um, if I was moving it or something, I would have to worry about snapping these antennas off, where if I had a USB, I could just unplug it and then move my computer on its back like I did to get it on this table here to do this review. So I wouldn't be against this card. Yeah, it's just fine. But one of the other things too is I have a Windows 10 um, live operating system. And it doesn't automatically recognize the graphics card. I'd have to go to the website and install the driver. But if it was a USB uh, Wi-Fi card, uh, Windows 10 would automatically recognize the driver and it would work just fine. So again, PCI Express in this sense is kind of going the way of the sound card all to USB or just built into the motherboard. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go and leave them below and I'll respond.